the City of Ramsey and the Anoka County Highway Department have expressed safety concerns about U.S. Highway 10 over the years. Highway 10 crosses the City of Ramsey for over five miles on the south side of the city from border to border. Highway 10 is an expressway with multiple entry, exit, and access points. Approximately 41,000 vehicles travel this highway each day. There are currently three intersections that are controlled by semaphores. Armstrong Boulevard, Ramsey Boulevard, and Sunfish Lake Boulevard. Since 2004, the City of Ramsey, in cooperation with Anoka County, have spent $4 million of city funds to make improvements to these intersections. Over the past five years, there have been 686 accidents on this stretch of highway. The City of Ramsey, Anoka County, and MnDOT have worked hard to get access points and unsafe median crossovers closed. Using funds from the Revolving Acquisition and Loan Fund, the city has acquired several properties along Highway 10 in order to eliminate access. The ultimate goal is to have grade separation at all three intersections that are currently controlled and make Highway 10 a freeway similar to the freeway that runs through Coon Rapids. The separation would include the Burlington Northern Railroad tracks that run parallel to the highway. These tracks currently run between 65 and 70 trains per day. On July 29, 2011, at 7.51 p.m., a three-vehicle accident occurred at the busy intersection of Highway 10 and Sunfish Lake Boulevard. Approximately 9,500 vehicles use Sunfish Lake Boulevard each day. The accident was caught on tape by a MnDOT traffic management camera. Two vehicles are seen entering Highway 10 from Sunfish Lake Boulevard. These two vehicles are then broadsided by a westbound vehicle. The westbound vehicle was traveling at approximately 60 miles per hour when the accident occurred. Immediately following the accident, passing motorists can be seen running to the aid of the crash victims while waiting for emergency personnel to arrive. Many of these people can be seen stepping into the path of oncoming traffic, while another individual can be seen smoking in the area of the severely damaged vehicles while flammable liquids are plainly in sight. The need to get emergency personnel on site is critical, not just for the victims, but also for the safety of the accident scene. The first police squad arrives with the ambulance within five minutes of the accident. Both of these vehicles came from Anoka on Highway 10. At 7.56 p.m., three Ramsey squads can be seen stranded on the north side of the railroad tracks waiting for a train to pass. The three emergency vehicles were forced to wait one minute and 40 seconds while the train passed before they were allowed to get through to the scene and administer aid to the injured parties. Another squad waited at Ramsey Boulevard for the same eastbound train to pass before it could proceed to the accident. This accident only partially blocked the highway. However, traffic was backed up for miles in a matter of minutes. As a result of this accident, five people were hospitalized, including two that were in critical condition. Three ambulances were needed to transport the victims to the hospital. This is only one example of the type of hazards Ramsey experiences with the rail line going entirely through our community. The trains frequently stop blocking the road for lengthy periods of time. The same safety concern applies to ambulances traveling to aid residents on the north side of the railroad track as it does to those transporting the ill or injured from the north side of the tracks to Mercy Hospital's emergency room.